Hello, welcome to our frog. This is our caravan and we call it frog because it looks like a frog from outside, uh, especially the green color and the face. So it's a, it's a Mercedes-Benz, uh, model is 911, which means nine tons, smallest engine has 110 horsepower, but we have 130 horsepower, so the second biggest engine. Um, it was an old border police truck from Germany, uh, made in 1980, so now it's 42 years old with a very robust engine and uh, six inline, so six liter inline and only 130 horsepower, not turbocharged. So there's nothing electrical can be broken, so we can fix it all by ourselves. Um, it's a four wheel drive with diff lock, so very capable for off-road driving. In our living area, we have a fully equipped kitchen for beds for sleeping. Then we have heater, uh, charging plugs, of course light, and it's all powered from two big solar plates on the top. So, welcome in our home. Here's our kitchen. This is our fridge. I like this very much. You can open it and then you can make the kitchen bigger. You see? You have a bigger plate for cooking, working. And here are our plates and the bread and some bottles. And here we store our pots, our cups and little stuff. Things we, all, we, we need very often we put here. So here's our other cooking stuff. And also this is a magnet. We can put our knives and all the stuff here so you can use it very short. And upstairs there is where we sleep, the parents, so Tobin and me. It looks small but it's very big. And here are the kids sleeping. This is Romy's bed. And down there is Mackie's bed. Here we have some more food. And here we have our stove, then pasta, all the stuff. And here we store our drinks, water and some juice. And here we have rice and, and wheat and all the stuff inside and cornflakes for breakfast. Yeah, and this is our living room. So we're sitting here in the evening together when we are not outside and having lunch or dinner, making um, homeschooling. The kids are playing here. There are the wardrobes, the clothes for the kids. So this is Mackie's wardrobe. Here is Romy's and next to it we have some toys for the kids. We have a lot of toys in the truck. These are all the toys and for painting, this is for swimming, all the stuff. And this is one of our windows, we have a lot inside so we can enjoy the nice view outside. Also we have some mosquito nets here, so this is very nice. This is our bathroom, so we have a toilet and also a shower inside. For showering we have to put the toilet out and then we can stand inside. Let me explain a little like the dashboard from the truck. This is the handbrake, so you can release the handbrake like this. And when you park it, just tighten the handbrake like this. Uh, it's manual, five gears. Down here is one knob. When you drive on roads, it's only two wheel drive. And you can switch like this, and now it's four wheel drive. And then on the dashboard, you have, of course, there's the oil pressure. Then we have the tank indicator. So these are the wipers, slow and fast. Then of course here you can spit the water and this is the most modern part 
it's an interval for the wipers. So if I tap it and I tap it again, it goes like in this beat all the time. If I double tap, it switches off. And yeah, up there I can switch the horn, like normal horn, silent horn. In India, I drive always like this. <laughs> The last one is for heating up the mirrors because when you drive and it's raining I cannot clean the other side because I won't reach the other side and with the heated mirrors the water will just disappear. Especially uh, we are left-hand driven vehicle and in India normally it's right-hand driven. So what I invented here is like I have a camera where I can see what is next to my right side if there's any motorcycle or any car passing by because they don't know that there's nobody sitting and, and sees them and when we reverse I can switch I have another reverse camera so I see all the time when I'm driving what is behind the truck and what is next to the right side of the truck So we did our first overland trip 2010 to India and we saw this truck at the beach in Goa, South Agonda. And the couple bought it from the German police. They converted it to a camper. But their plan is the plan was to, to sell it again. And we said of course we would take it instantly. So when we went back to Germany, we bought the truck in Germany from them, stripped the cabin and rebuilded it completely, especially for our own purposes and our needs. When we bought the truck, it was roughly about 18,000 euros. This was the price when we bought it, but then we stripped the cabin. I bought a used cabin from another camper. It was about 5,000 US dollar. And all the interior and the technical stuff was maybe another 10,000 US dollar. So overall, it was about 35,000 US dollar. Welcome to the exterior part of our truck. So I got a lot of keys because we have a lot of flaps outside. Um, the first one is like a small kind of luxury. Here we have an outside shower, especially when you, when you stay at the beach or something, you can take a quick shower afterwards. And of course we have cold water and hot water. You can twist it here. And yeah, it's, it's nice to have a short shower after after swimming outside <clears throat> down here we have like our big diesel tank it will fit um, 500 liters of diesel and we have a mileage between four and five kilometers so in, in best condition we can go up to 2000 kilometers with one tank of diesel and this is from michelin xcdl this is the best like multi-tire for road driving and off-road driving. A lot of people ask us how we maintenance the truck and how we can fix all the stuff on the road. And you see we have a lot of spare parts and a lot of tools. So everywhere inside. Here's example, this is like my electric uh, spare parts with cable, fuses, switches, everything you need for electric purposes. Down here I have all my screwdriver and stuff like this. So down here is all the stuff that gets dirty. This is um, like um, filling stuff for diesel oil and so on. Up here is uh, our outside stove. It's running on petrol. It's a Coleman dual petrol stove because we don't have gas inside because gas is very hard to get in different countries because you need another adapter, you need other bottles. So we are fully gas-free, we only cook on petrol and inside we use spirit for cooking. These are also like a tire component. These are sand plates. If we got stuck in the desert, digging deep into the sand, we can just put out the sand plates, put it under the tire and you can drive up this small uh, ditch and you can continue. Um, this box is like a storage box for the toys of my kids. All the beach toys, small excavator stuff like this. But normally we use it as a washing machine. So we get hot water, a little so a soap, put our clothes in, close it. And when we're driving, it will shaking. So in the evening, all the clothes are very well clean. On the back, we have two spare tires. Like one is on the rim, one is without rim. Um, the reason is 
This size is very hard to get in some, some countries, so we, we have an extra spare tire. And for this big tires, you need, of course, a crane. Like the tire with the rim is about 140 kilos. And the tire itself, it's about 70 to 80 kilos. So no way that one person can lift it up, strap it down. That's why I have the crane. I can release it, swing it out, get the tire down. So these are all for rescuing the truck like stands with a check lift here, big straps, another strap, wrenches like this. Down here also a storage box, spare parts, some chairs, small stuff. So we have a lot of spare parts with us and a lot of tools. This is a small freshwater tank. If you work outside or something, you can clean your shoes, clean your feet or just like wash your hands here. And these are two big diesel uh, cherry cans. Um, the problem is if maybe you damage your tank, all the diesel will go out, so you don't have diesel, you can't drive anymore. I can just switch the hoses to this side and it's like um, backup diesel um, storage. So I can drive from this canisters also. Like in here is our water tank it's for 500 liter fresh water with uh, of course a water pump so we can run the sink on it, we can run the shower on it. Also, there's a boiler on top, so we have 80 liter hot water. It will heat up by the cooling system from the engine. So we have two pipes, it goes into the boiler, back to the engine. And it took about half an hour driving and then we have hot water for the next two days. Most of the people ask us, so you can go into the water like hot underwater, but that's not true because the water will go into the cabin. The main purpose for this snorkel is a cyclone filter. So it will filter all the dust and sand out of the air. And it's way better quality up there because there's no um, sand blows or sand blast going up there. It's just for cleaner air up there. Especially for India, we have a small gadget built in here because this is a left-hand drive car or truck. So we have a camera on this side and inside I have a monitor. If the engine is not running and you tow a truck, you have no brake support. That's why we have a tow bar. So we can put it on front, put it on another truck and then the tow bar will also use as a brake because if the first truck breaks, you will also brake. It's like a trailer then. So the, the frame is completely uh, loose, tightened, not, not tightened to the frame from the chassis. It's very loose, it's all on springs because if you go off-road, you have a lot of torsion into the body and the torsion will go to the cabin and make some cracks. So the frame can lift up from the chassis and it will stay all the time straight. So what we have here in the tires are Bluetooth sensors. So it will um, check all the time the temperature and the pressure of the tire. Especially the temperature is very important for trucks because the brakes can easily overheat if you go long hill down. And we have for each tire, we have like the current pressure and the current temperature. 